hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show how to do checkout in ventilator macwet ventilator servo s and also how to solve the expiratory cassette technical error issue so this is the macwet ventilator so back side the switch is on off switch is available yeah this is the switch just switch on the machine now the machine is getting on it works both in the battery and also in the main this is macwet servo s yes. this is having issue so i will show how to solve that issue that is technical error in macwet ventilator yeah now this is the main screen came now we need to do the pre pre use check this check we definitely need to do this is the expiratory cassette where we connect the tubings so just connect the tube now i just between the expiratory and inspiratory now press the pre use check yes so the machine automatically check the pre use check now the patient is not ventilated because i not connected oxygen and air so i need to connect the gas supply air and oxygen center supply now this is the expiratory cassette yeah now i connected now the technical error message is red color blinking that is the error expiratory cassette error so this test will fail internal leakage will be fail because of the expiratory cassette issue yeah leakage now i have to cancel and and clean the cassette expiratory cassette this is the remaining test just for uh, just going on in this video i just uh, clearly show about how to solve this expiratory gas at technical error This is a self test. Each and every day we before starting we need to before we connecting to the patient we just need to check out the machine. Then only we can find out the machine is good or not only through this yeah, through this pre use checkup process. So from this checkup only I find out that the expiratory cassette having issue that is internal leakage issue. So I have to repair this one for that i just waiting for completion of this may self test also this machine having battery also having issue that's why battery also battery test also not completed now i will show how to repair the expiratory cassette see this is failed pre-use check failed Now I have to remove the tubings from the expiratory cassette. Now I will press the button and this will just press the button and move upward the monitor and now for easy take out of the expiratory cassette. 
Now I just push the button and press up the expiratory cassette. Before that I just remove the air and oxygen supply. Yeah, this is the button. Just I have to press. Just push up. Yeah, this chip is the connector. This is the expiratory gasset, so I have to clean. So first I will remove this one. Now this part I have to clean properly. So this is a drum like thing, so I just remove easily. Now I have to take out all these things and clean this drum. With the carefully we have to take out. to clean clean it with a tissue or something I clean it with a sanitizer just clean properly mainly this drum Now I have to fix it back just like this. Need to carefully fix it back properly. If not properly connect, then there should be leakage. So I have to fix properly. If all the dust something come inside this bit uh, between this ring and uh, this washer type thing, then the leakage chance for the leakage is high. That's why I clean properly. Now I have to fix it back. Just to press to the and just a little more. It will go inside. And put safe. Yeah, this is enough. It is just confirm it's good properly fixed. Yes, it's properly fixed. Now I have to connect this one to the ventilator. Yeah. Like this we have to connect. switch on the machine again the previous check I have to do yes press yes button now the machine will automatically do the previous check now the technical error message is not there connect the tubing I have to connect the tubings so I already connected the tubings between the inspiratory and expiratory Now gas supply, internal leakage, pressure transducer test, safety valve test, O2 cell, sensor flow transducer test, battery switch test, patient circuit test, alarms, state test, all these the tests will be done. Now the internal leakage, before I do the test, the internal leakage will be failed, so now it is passed. So the expiratory cassette is now very good
now the battery test is coming on it will be failed because uh, the machine is already having the battery issue so i have to uh, remove the battery and replace now remaining everything passed but the battery battery test did not complete because the, both the battery is not good uh, so the test will be failed but this machine we can use to the patient through the ups connection now it's unblock ypc so we have to unblock yes it's touch screen only yes now the test is finished but it will result will be fail because of the battery issue but patient circuit everything will pass so not fail not completed like that because of battery issue but the machine will work fine i will check expiratory capacity change that's why the message is there because i already clean and change the expiratory now it's in standby thank you guys for watching my video please like share and subscribe